Well, this was kind of a unplanned walk. I'm out on Mills Road out by the airport out here, out by Sydney. And uh, the idea was to see the last flight of the Martin Mars bomber. It's going to do a little flyby here. It's going to end up in a museum just over on my left hand side. Should have been out here at three o'clock in the afternoon. I've never seen so many people out here, even when there's an air show on. So this is a piece of history coming in here. So uh, I'll see if I can get close enough to see something. Otherwise, I'll get my 10,000 steps in for sure. <laughs> well, gonna get run over. All right, let's see how things go. I'll report back in a minute. As you can see, there's a few people out here in each direction. But that's nothing. Wait till you see the lawn over here. The Martin Mars we're out here trying to have a look at today is actually the Hawaiian Mars. And it's Hawaiian Mars number two. The original one actually went down to Chesapeake Bay in, uh, I think it was 1944 or something like that. These uh, Mars bombers were actually cargo planes, amphibious, like they're flying boats. And uh, they had them, five of them ordered for the US Navy. And they came in really, really handy near, but at the end of the war, lot flying supplies to different bases and that overseas. The reason these were so good is that if a base uh, uh, airstrip got bombed or anything like that, there's lots of water. These things could still get supplies over. So, uh, you know, they were very good. They could, they could haul anything too. They even carried people in them on numerous, numerous occasions. So I think it's back in the 60s, uh, Collison Air bought a few of them and converted them to water tankers for fighting forest fires. And I've actually seen one, actually this one, working before. I was out fishing in my aluminum boat out in Saanich Inlet and there was a fire over in Mill Bay across the inlet and the Mars bomber was working that fire and I was had the fortune of sitting out there and I think I saw it come down and scoop water like five times and go up and put out the fire. It was really exciting thing to watch. So uh, we have a little history so I'd like to see it one more time before they landlock it over here at the Aviation Museum which I'm sure I'll go out and have a look at it out there too, so in a future episode. Well, that's a long walk. I'm on Mills Road. I had to walk almost from Slags. Yeah, there's that many people here. Just wait till you see all the people on the hill up here. Incredible. The flying boat is supposed to do a slow pass over the airport and then it's gonna come back. The snowbirds are here also, and they're gonna put on a little bit of a display at the end. So we'll see if we can stay long enough for that. But I think it's going to be a late night. I don't know how long it's, take, how long it's going to take to get out of here of all these people.
sure is a lot bigger turnout than I had for my retirement party, I'll tell you that. Coming in, escorted by the Snowbirds. was pretty cool. That was a fantastic with the snowbirds guiding her in. So it's just going down to Victoria now. It's going to do a little show down there and it's coming back. It's going to do a land out in the Pat Bay there and I don't think they're going to do anything with it tonight except maybe tie it up somewhere or anchor it out. Apparently it's not going to be on display up into the museum till about the 28th of the month because they got to get Nicholson Brothers in to lift it up, put it on a trailer, they got to take down power lines, take out a couple fences, and someone said that you have to actually take a building down too, so I don't know about that, but <laughs> that's what I heard. So I think I'm going to wander out of here. You know, I want to beat that. I don't want to get stuck in this traffic. Besides that, it's almost 6.30. It's almost bedtime. I'm going to wander out of here. Good idea, but I can't believe the people that are here. And no one's leaving yet, so that's good. So maybe I'll get out of here while I, while I can. I hope you enjoyed that little flyby. <laughs> I might just uh, dig out a little bit of filmage and put in about here um, of the bomber doing a water drop because it's really something to see. All right, let's see if I can get out of here. Man, this is crazy. There's people everywhere. I'll definitely get my 10,000 steps in today. What a beautiful evening though. Just a nice breeze too. It's great. Yeah, I'm wandering down Mills Road. Got another kilometer or two to go. Oh, huh, apparently my brothers out here somewhere. There's his Yukon. Gee, I sold that to him when I worked at Wheaton's. Hmm. Well, wasn't that a cool flyby? I'll tell you. It's kind of sad too, you know, thinking that was its last flight. So uh, if you want to see it again, you're going to have to come out to the Aviation Museum. I hear they're pulling the engines out and they are sending them back up to uh, Sprout Lake where the other Mars bomber is that needs engines and they're going to put them in that one 
and fly them someplace out in the States. I can't remember where it was. I looked it up, but I can't remember where it's going. And that one will be retired too. Great place to put them in a museum. I'd rather see that than have them all scrapped. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. I sure did. And, uh, you know, when something like that's going on, it's really worth checking it out. And if you don't do it, I will. Stay safe, and uh, we'll walk and talk again real soon. <laughs> Bye for now. Almost home. <laughs>